Well, three years after the January 6th insurrection, and there are new arrests connected to the riots. We are also learning new details about the special counsel's investigation into Donald Trump's alleged role that day. National correspondent Stephanie Sandoval has the details. We're trying to get in. We got the, the glass broken. These are all your patriots. This is our house. This is our house. New video showing a tense exchange between rioters and Republican lawmakers through a shattered glass doorway just outside the House chamber on January 6. The video released three years after the riots was shot by Damon Beckley, who was found guilty of obstructing the Electoral College certification and civil disorder. I just must tell you, having been there that day, I, I mean, to see people literally breaking windows, ransacking the Capitol, um, uh, it, it just infuriated me. And I believe everyone that conducted that, uh, that riot at the Capitol needs to be held to the fullest extent of the law. I'm pleased that many have. Uh, but uh, I, I've never been given any information. I've, I've heard the many repeated assurances from the FBI that they were not involved, and I take them at their word. Now new details stemming from former President Trump's role that day. Special Counsel Jack Smith revealing new allegations about Trump's unwillingness to help stop the violence. Sources telling investigators that Trump, quote, was not interested in stopping it. And when Trump was told his then vice president was rushed to a secure location, Trump responded, quote, so what? The former president has pleaded not guilty to felony charges and has denied all wrongdoing. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi told ABC's This Week on Sunday she believes Trump incited an insurrection. What's interesting about it all is that in every case, every piece of this, whether it was our case in terms of the Electoral College, whether it was what happened with the January 6th, committee, select committee, or this testimony now is all coming from Republicans. So the, it's very clear what happened that day. Also on the third anniversary of the January 6th attack, authorities in Florida arrested three fugitives wanted for their alleged roles in the attack. The FBI says all three are scheduled to appear in federal court on Monday for what prosecutors say was a coordinated assault on several police officers. Authorities are still searching for the person who investigators say left two pipe bombs outside both the Democratic and Republican National Party headquarters the day before the attack. More than 1,200 people have been charged with crimes related to the riot. Stephanie Sandoval, Scripps News.